Hey everybody, it's Lisa, owner of Peaches Skincare. You can visit us at peachesskincare.com and I also invite you to follow us on Instagram and Facebook to see a little bit more about who we are and what we can do for you holistically. I answer everything here on YouTube. I'm saying that on every video because I'm getting so many people telling me they're DMing me on Instagram or they're DMing me on uh, Facebook. I don't do those platforms. I only do YouTube and I have someone do that for me. So come on over here to YouTube and I'll answer everything. Just ask with love and kindness below and please subscribe. It helps me so much to get these videos seen and this is really just something that I love doing to help all of you. A lot of what I teach you is going to sound, I'm an anomaly, really. Um, it's going to sound like so against everything you've learned about skin. But I want you to remember these are time-tested results that I have gotten with clients for over 35 years. I'm 55 years old, I wear no foundation and makeup, or I don't do anything invasive to my skin. So everything you see on these videos is real. In fact, um, on the AM routine, and now today we're gonna do the PM routine, um, I did have a uh, little acneic area that the girls extracted here, and it's taken about a week to heal, but I've just been letting it heal. Like um, many of you need to understand, you need to let your skin heal and to allow the process. Don't cover it up, don't do anything to it, just let the skin heal itself. Uh, when it learns to heal, it learns to build collagen and it learns to protect you from bacterias and funguses and really to help you from all of the damage um, that is out there that you're getting from UV, UVA, UVB, uh, sun damage, um, to toxins in the environment. So really allow your skin to learn how to take care of itself. Okay, let's get into it guys. This is my PM routine. I have sunscreen on my face. I've got everything on that I put on in the morning. Um, the only thing that I use is maybe a little blush. I use a little sunscreen color science here. I do my eyes and I do my lips. Um, I'm not vilifying you if you use foundation and concealer, but you will not get your skin to the place it needs to be if you don't allow that canvas to heal and be beautiful and then do whatever you want to do. All right. So before I get in the shower at night, I do alcohol the inside of my nose. Um, during AM, I told you I do it then. Really during PM, I realize that I do do it every night because we are in the environment. So all I do is I keep alcohol in this little container, I get the Q-tip uh, wet, I do the other side, and I clean the inside of my nose every single night. I also clean my ears. A lot of you don't realize to clean your ears. I clean my ears morning and night as well. Um, then what I do is I take a shower at night. Um, I'm kind of a two shower a day person. I'm so active. Um, I know that's terrible. Um, our new bathroom is going to have a bathtub, so I'm really excited about that. But first thing I do, flawless exfoliator. Um, I do take off my eye makeup, and a lot of you have asked. I use Vaseline brand Vaseline. I have for years. My eye doctor says it's fine. I have tried eye makeup removers. We have tried making them. They're just too irritating to the eyes. So a little bit of Vaseline, I take off my eye makeup, but many of my estheticians will tell you they just use our cleanser. I think because I've been doing Vaseline for so many years, that's what I do. Okay. Flawless exfoliator to loosen. So if you wanna stop the video and go and get your exfoliator, you can. But this is what we do to loosen anything from the day. It's going to help to get any sunscreen off. I don't believe in double washing because I don't wear foundation and concealer. There's no need to use those extra products that really have no benefit to your skin and can actually cause more irritation than good. So exfoliate to loosen everything, get down to your neck, your chest. If you have a bad back, have someone help you with your back. And I'm using bowls, you'll be in the shower. And just rinse that off, just like so. Now stick around, if you think you've seen everything before, I'm going to be showing you a few more things. I'm gonna share some things with all of you. Um, a lot of you that are new to me don't know that we just moved. I think in the past 11 years, we have moved, well, even prior to that, we have moved, I think Kent and I counted 
seven times for business. Uh, our most recent move was down to Dana Point to open a salon and that was prior to COVID. We moved in January, COVID hit in March. Okay, now I'm going to wash my face. I might do Restore, I might do Restore first and then Classic Cleanser face food, but it just depends on how you're feeling and how active you were that day. So we moved down to Dana Point and we were in the middle of buying a building for our fourth Peaches skincare. Um, our salons used to be called Lisa Marie skincare and then we started to make some Peaches skincare salons. I didn't love having my name, it was a little weird. And um, we really thought that peaches would be something we would have in other states, other places. Now I do use my Foreo and I just work it around, but guys, if you can't afford this, don't worry about it. Use your fingertips. Just make sure you're not using a brush that uh, doesn't vibrate. If it swirls, it can cause superficial tears on the skin. We have natural fungus and bacteria and we don't want to leave any openings for the bad fungus or bacteria. That's what creates problems in our skin. So we uh, were going to make our fourth peaches and we were very excited. And I think escrow was going to close in about, or no, we had to sign off within about four days and COVID hit and the governor had to close us down, which I absolutely respect. I don't wanna talk about politics here, but um, my daughter is a nurse um, and I understood what was going on. At this point, I will take my uh, disposable razor. I showed it to you during AM. I love to use disposable razors and I will just, and I thought I'd show you this time. I'll shave my chin. Don't be afraid. It is an old wives tale that your hair will grow back thicker or that you will have whiskers. That is absolutely not true. I maintain it every single day and it helps me to feel great. I don't like waxing my skin and I don't love waxing our clients because about nine out of 10 clients will have a reaction. Uh, it isn't good for your skin. You go out in the sun and you're more susceptible. When I was younger and I waxed my lip, it became very brown um, and it can cause a lot of discoloration of the skin. Many times too, I do a waxing video. Oh my gosh, it's months ago. You can go back and look at it. They double dip the stick and it's very dirty for the face. So I like to shave. Okay, so rinse off that cleanser. So we backed out, we rented a house, we decided to just see what was going to happen before we made any big decisions. We thought the housing market would crash. Um, we just thought it was going to be, you know, kind of crazy, and it was, don't get me wrong, but um, things didn't work out the way we thought, and we, uh, my daughter told me, mom, go online, or go on YouTube, make a channel, you've got so much to teach. And I thought she was crazy at 55. I'm not this beautiful, you know, young woman or woman. And I thought, who's gonna listen to me? Which has been hard, some people are not, but um, I hoped I'd grow a little faster, but I'm so grateful. And it really got online going and really saved our salons. So we have decided no more salons for us. We love the three we have. We may see what happens in the future, but this has been such a beautiful way for me to interact with you, to help so many more people. Um, I don't know if many of you know, you can buy a consultation online with me. Um, some people are asking if I can give them personal facials. Um, that is a bit more costly than the facials in our salon, but we are discussing it. But you can have my attention um, and I can talk to you on the phone and you can email me. So please know that. Okay, Flawless Exfoliator Classic Cleanser. I then do, if I'm going to do baking soda, I would do it at this step. Again, I do not do baking soda every day. I can get microdermabrasion, so I don't need to. Um, but for those of you that wanna do it every day, maybe once a week, twice a week, do it. But if you don't do your baking soda, you're not going to help me to get rid of that thick callus that makes you look older and dull. And is really, in layman's terms, like years of damage built up. You'll see wrinkles go away the first time, it's amazing. All right, I pat my face dry and just like you all know, I do my polish again. Um, polish is really thick, we used to have it in a, a jar, now we have it, um, we didn't really want you touching it, but it is kind of tough to get out of here and I know that, a lot of you have told me that. I'm gonna take my polish, I used way too much, even I use way too much, and you just wanna work it around like so. Um, I'm not gonna do my neck anymore, uh, just for time's sake, but I do do my neck, my chest, 
and you can do your back as well if someone can help you. Okay, so we uh, thought things were gonna, you know, like I said, change and we got on YouTube. I let this sit while I wash my hair and my body and then I just wash it off in a circular motion. So we decided to come back towards our Long Beach Naples salon and I'm so glad I did. I am about two and a half hours from my Santa Barbara salon and I am only a little ways from my Naples salon. And I really love this area because our children are closer. Uh, we have a son who lives right here in town and our daughter is up in LA. So that just feels better for us. I also love this community. Um, I think the first day that Kent and I moved in, and I am not kidding or exaggerating, we must have had seven different neighbors walk up to our door, uh, say hello to us, welcome us to the neighborhood. I had someone bring me over a beautiful orchid. Um, I mean, these people are so kind and so loving. And if there was one thing I prayed, it was that I would be in a community where I would make a difference and I would feel like I was a part of a family. And I already feel that way and we've been here less than a month. All right, I rinsed that polish off, okay? And for those of you who don't realize it, I just did a video back to back. So I just did this twice and my skin is not burning or hurting because these are gentle to your skin. These are like food for your face. Um, okay, I want to make sure I'm not missing anything that I do in the shower. All right, I then get out of the shower and my face is pretty dry. I don't typically pat it. And I like to look in the mirror and at this point I'll make sure I got out all my little hairs. No matter what age you are, hormonal, you'll have hairs. And then I'll take this lovely little uh, razor. I love these and I forgot the name of it and I couldn't find the package with all the move. And I'll just look in my mirror and I'll just clean off anything in my eyebrows, anything that I want to clean. Plucking will cause folliculitis. It will cause it here. If you're breaking out on your chin and you're not sure why and you haven't told me that you're plucking, stop plucking. Plucking breaks the hair off. It doesn't get all the way down to the root of it. Okay, uh, the, there's terms for that, but I wanna be in layman's terms. It doesn't get deep down, so it breaks it off. It then causes almost an infection, and that's why you get little pimples. So shaving is so much better for your skin. And I also do a video on shaving the face, not dermaplaning. Uh, dermaplaning is done in a medical office with a surgical tool, so it is not dermaplaning, it is shaving your face. After I do that, I tone my skin. You can do your apple cider vinegar. I just tone it. I'm not gonna spray it all right now because I last video got in my eyes and I couldn't see. And then I do my pH toner. Your pH toner sets the pH of your skin at a perfect pH so no fungus and bacteria can grow. And then I take my needless serum. I love this serum. I really, when dermatology contacted me, I thought, I don't know, but they said, you don't do anything to your face. We want to see what you think. And I'm really blown away by it. I really think it, it does. It works on the two different layers of collagen and I see it. I absolutely see it in my skin. Um, I'm a little tired from moving. I've said that before. I do see that in my skin, but I'm starting to kind of revitalize. I'm making sure to eat really well. Sometimes when you're moving, you don't eat really well. What you put in your body, guys, is going to be seen on your skin, your teeth, your hair, and your eyes. After I do my needless serum, I do let this sit for a few minutes. Um, if I want to do my LED mask at night, I would have done it prior to this, but I'm showing you um, maybe an easier way. And I know some of you think, wow, her routine is so long. It really isn't. It should take you two minutes in the morning, two minutes at night if that. The only thing that is extra is your gua sha, your microcurrent, maybe doing your facial yoga. But this doesn't take a long time. And I'll tell you something, if you want a result with anything, routine and consistency is key. Now, if you wanna go get your fat sucked out, do it. If you want a quick, you know, quick fix, but it's gonna come back somewhere else. If you wanna do Botox and you actually think that it helps the muscle uh, to prevent it from aging, you're crazy. You're, you stop working that muscle. So it, it ages more than you'd ever think it would. I've seen women after 15, 20 years of having Botox and injectables and their faces are dropped. Uh, in the most recent years, I've seen where women have injected their lips and when they don't inject it, their lips have dropped. So let me teach you natural alternatives. And then if you wanna go do those things, we'll talk about it, but hopefully you won't. Okay, 
Then I do my vitamin C. I love my vitamin C serum on morning and night. You want to use a great vitamin C. If you have any questions about it, ask me down uh, below. And I just put that on. Now, when I'm putting things on, I wanna remind you, wash behind your ears. Really work those products up like so, okay? And then depending on what night it is, I may put my Luminous, which is go-to uh, coenzyme Q10 and uh, Daisy Flower. It is a huge anti-ager. Or I may put my vitamin A, which is a retinol. So I'm going to put one of those on. Uh, I think I'll do Luminous right now because it is the morning and I, I'm doing this as a PM routine, but. Put your Luminous on, just work it around. And I said this in the AM routine, everyone gets so overwhelmed by layering. Don't stress yourselves out, just breathe. Yes, you they say to layer from lightest to um, heaviest, but if you're using a family of products, you will be using things and steps that they teach you to do. With peaches, I know how the things work together. You're not going to have a chemical reaction. Things are too much like face food. You will be fine. I then put on my eye cream. I use my ring finger. And I'm going to show you what I do before bed, so don't tune out yet if you think you've seen everything. Just use your ring finger, as I said in AM. I really don't suggest you putting it on your eyelid and then you're going to put on your moisturizer. This is classic moisturizer. It is just like face food for your skin. It has elements that help with any scar tissue. Uh, it hydrates. I've had a few of you say that you feel like you're a little dry. Remember, as old tissue's coming up, it's like a snake uh, removing its skin. Old flaky skin is coming up and you think you're dry, but you're actually very supple. When a client will come into the salon and they'll tell me, can I just stop by for you to look at it? They're very supple and healthy. It's just that that old tissue is coming off and it looks dry. Trust me on this. Now, this is the point where I am done upstairs and I'm gonna go downstairs and I'm probably gonna watch television. I'll take, if I have an irritation, when the girls did extractions on me, I had one here. You can probably see a little bit of a mark still. It's going away. And I had one here. I took the Vaseline and I put it right there because I'm about to go downstairs and I'm going to do my microcurrent. I'll sit in front of the television and I'll start with my new face. A lot of you are asking me about this. Microcurrent professionally done is absolutely hands down the best. I think it has to be done with gloves. I've seen it done with probes. Gloves are the way to go. Gloves are the quintessential microcurrent in working the muscles of your face. I love my new face. Don't get talked into using some of these different microcurrents with probes and things. They just don't work as well. Uh, and this is more about maintenance. So if you can get in for a facial, get a facial, a professional facial, and maintain at home. If you can't, you will see a difference. But when you tell me you aren't seeing a difference after a month, you are expecting something after you have not been taking care of your skin properly for years. Give it time, be patient, just like you would without with working out or weight loss. I turn it on to the strongest one, and let's see if you can see this. So it sounds like a little beeping. And the strongest is over here. And I have all my serums and things on, and that's what many of you asked. And I'll just start my microcurrent process while I'm watching television. And I'll go kind of slow. I'm not gonna do the whole thing for you right now. I do different areas on my neck. And then I'll go up to my face and I'll just pull my skin. And it's really very gentle. And I'll just do my microcurrent. Now, I think this pulse lasts about five minutes. It's terrible that I don't know that. I've just been doing it for so many years. When it goes off, you hear a beep, beep, beep. I will actually turn it on again and do my whole face again. So if you wanna see the whole microcurrent routine, comment below, but I have showed it in the past. I don't wanna to get too crazy. At this point after microcurrent, some of you might wanna use your Peely oil. 
and some of you might want to use your peaches renewal oil. So Peely oil is basically just vitamin E. It's a wonderful vitamin E in the Philippines. It's from the Peely tree. I really love it. And if you have a scar tissue or if you have a mark, I think it's fantastic. But renewal oil will do the same, only it's got a lot more additives or a lot more soldiers in it. It has vitamin A, vitamin E, um, uh, gosh, I've tried to remember all the ingredients that I have in my own product. And um, essentially, it's going to be anti-aging. And I did a whole video on this. Um, we use elements that they have used for years to take care of skin and to heal the skin. And you really are going to see a difference with it. So this is where I will put on my oils just like so and i should really go over ingredients with all of you on different products but i feel like it's so overwhelming and we list everything on our website lots of people don't list everything they just list the active ingredients we list everything so you can ask me anything don't demonize essential oils don't demonize things that have to keep the the product balanced i will explain why it's there and that's all um, you need to feel comfortable with. Okay, so I work it around like so, and I just get my oil everywhere. You may wanna put it on your chest. Some people have asked if they can use it during the day. If you're home, most certainly you can. I really made it for PM, and you will take your gua sha. If you don't have a gua sha and you don't want to do the gua sha moves, and I show you that in a video as well, so I'm not going to right now, use your knuckles, really get that blood flowing. Blood flow creates oxygenation of skin cells and creates healing and creates collagen. So after I've done all that, I go upstairs and right before bed, I may put on my, I'm going to put on my neck cream, not may. Um, there's two I showed you in AM routine. Uh, they're the same neck creams that I will use at night. I really love this dermatology and I really love this HSBC. So you can pick one based on cost. Neck cream works, it's amazing. And I'll just put it on right before bed. I then um, take my Milk of Magnesia Everything is on my face, and this is what everyone needs to understand. You don't rinse it off. I will take my Milk of Magnesia, and I will put it in an upward motion. Now, I, oh, I wash my face early in the evening. So I probably take a shower and wash my face a few hours before I go to bed. So all of my oils and things have been on for a while. They've penetrated, they've done their job. Um, I don't do it close together like I am here. So then, right before bed, I put on my Milk of Magnesia, I work up, it will get white. If I have an area that has maybe a scab from um, an acneic area or an extraction, that's where the Vaseline was, so it protects that area. I then may um, take my castor oil and I'll put a couple drops on my little eyelash spoolie and I'll put that on my eyelashes and my eyebrows. Um, I also take castor oil and I take a little bit out and I just put a little drop on my ring finger and I will put that right over my eye cream. You can also put it over your eyes as well. I then, right before bed, will do my exfoliator for my lips. I love Hanalei. We sell this on our website. This little jar will last you months. It's kukui oil and sugar. It's fantastic. I'll just work that around and I kind of eat it off my lips. And then right before I go to sleep, I do put a little lip uh, treatment on my, on my lips. That is what I do. And then, um, oh, let me not forget this. And then I take a little frowny. So these are frowny patches. Here you go. And I take this frowny, and I'm not gonna put it on right now, but this one I wear every single night. They say you only have to use them a few times a month, but I've just gotten so used to them. You get it wet on the side that's sticky, and it's just a vegetable. It's nothing to worry about. And I stick it right here, and I hold it, and then I go to sleep, and I let that sit. And it creates muscle memory all night long. So there is my PM routine. Sometimes I think there's something I've left out, or there's so much that you think is going on, but it doesn't last long. You can do this very quickly. If you want to have ageless skin, if you want to have beautiful skin, you will see a difference with consistency. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you all stay beautiful naturally.